Without further ado, Fatty, teach us about the uh, SD1. Thank you, Dan, for that uh, introduction. So, uh, as Dan mentioned, I haven't mentioned you before. Uh, my name is Fatty Gerges. I work with uh, the agency here as the uh, software end user specialist. So we're here today with the uh, Maxis XD1 circuit puller. Um, and as you can see here, right out of the box, it comes in this, you know, really heavy duty uh, electrician's back check here. On the uh, bottom side, it's got a nice rubber bottom. Um, on the front side, it's got padding here for, uh, you know, if you're weighted down with this backpack for comfort. But, uh, so let's go ahead and start, you know, pulling up the contents of the bag, the XD1 itself. So opens up pretty wide here. And it comes in a couple of different pieces here. So this is the bulk of the unit. So this is the Maxis XD1 circuit puller. Uh, to put it together, essentially what you're going to do Take this mask here and put it onto the base of the unit, and it's secured with this pin here. Let's see if I can get this in here quickly. <laughs> so there we go. So there's the pin there, um, and as it's branded here, it's the Maxis XT1 Extreme Duty Circuit Puller. Now, why is that significant? You're not going to be using this to pull, you know, 500 MCM or 750 MCM, which are you know your big bulky cables. What this is meant for are your circuit size. Uh, wires. So, um, if you could imagine, for example, you know, a 12 gauge or a, or a 10 gauge extension cord, if you split that open, those three stands, strands of wire, of copper wire in there, are the size of circuitry uh, that's meant to be pulled by this tug. So, um, with that being said, it's got 1,000 pounds of initial pulling force and then 600 pounds of continuous. So, uh, this is the uh, renowned Maxis XD1 uh, you know, uh, gearbox here. Um, and the way that this is powered is with any 18 volt half inch drill. So here I have a Makita and the way that it works is your half inch drill will chuck onto the XD1 itself right here. And I'll demonstrate that right now. So now we're chucked on securely. And as you can see here, it's got this mounting bracket, which is adjustable with these two socket head caps, cap screws, depending on your drill. To further secure the XD1 to your drill, you have this Velcro strap that wraps around the handle here, loops through. Now you're essentially ready to pull wire here. So we've actually got a little bit of an intricate wire run here that we're gonna demonstrate the pull on. So uh, this right here is called a conduit adapter. This is meant to secure the XD1 at the base of the of, of the pull side. So uh, out of the opening where you're going to deploy the wire and the rope. Uh, before I you know dive into the pull itself, let's go into a little bit more of the features here. So um, you know job site difficulties in mind. Southwire has come up with a you know a few different innovations to kind of make this thing go. Uh, you know for example need a little bit more reach let's say for example you're working in a in a deeper box or one that's overhead by a couple of feet whatever the case may be this arm here actually telescopes so you pull this out here you line up the holes now you got a little bit added reach now let's say for example you know, you want to take full advantage of the versatility of the XD1. What you can also do is you should remove the stem or the mast here. Take a one inch piece of pipe, a 10 foot section in or cut it down to length. And then you can put this on the other end of that pipe. And now you can pull from the floor. It's got, uh, you know, a run coming in from the ceiling or, you know, whatever the case may be. That eliminates the, the, uh, the necessity of the ladder and then also the balancing act that comes with that when you're pulling wire from a ladder, you know? So pretty cool innovation there. Also on the bottom side here, you have a threaded hole, which essentially serves as a receptacle for a kickstand. Again, you can cut down a piece of pipe to length, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, depending on your pull, and you can, you know, use that as a kickstand. So that's the, you know, some of the innovations here on the XD1. So now, you know, we're ready for our pull, but before we go into our pull, let's go ahead a little bit into the 
you know, the, the steps necessary to, to get to, you know, where we're at now with the pole. So, um, typically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to fish your fish tape all the way through the entire run. Right. And then also you're going to attach your rope to that fish tape and then fish it back out. And then you have your rope throughout the entire run and then you can attach your wire and then you can begin your, your, uh, your pull, which is where we're at now. So let's go ahead and get started here. Again, we're going to take this conduit adapter here. We're going to, you know, kind of brace it up against the opening here where we're going to pull. You want your drill to be in reverse. You want to give this a few wraps around the cap stand here to kind of give it some grip. And then as you pull, you're just going to be, you know, peeling off rope just like that, nice and easy. You can go a little bit slower. Now I'm actually going to gum this up on purpose here. So now I got a little bit of rope gummed up and I'm not, I'm not able to peel the rope off as smoothly. All you have to do is kind of just pick the, the drill back into, you know, forward drive here. Back it out a little bit, peel off some of the rope, and then you can start over with the rope. So uh, pretty nice and easy to use. So now I'm, I'm back to peeling off the rope. And I'm gummed up again, so I'm going to forward it again. Peel it off a little bit. Right. And we're back to pulling. So now we just saw our improvised head come out here, right? So now you, you've completed the wire pull at that point. Now let's say, for example, you know, I have way more wraps around this cap stand and uh, I got a mess to take this thing off. The cap stand is easily removed as such. And then all you have to do is just peel the rope off and you're ready for your next pull. Um, so that, guys, in a nutshell, is the XD1 circuit pull. Nice. And Sandy, what, so what if when you're pulling the wire, it just gets stuck and stops? What what happens? Does it? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, the XD1 itself is limited to the pull strength on this drill, which is that 600 pounds. The gears inside of the XD1 are bulky enough. It's pretty close to a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, so that they're bulky enough, you're not going to be grinding gears. The, the drill or the, uh, the XD1 will simply just stop working, you know? Nice. So. Okay. So it's not going to like wreck the gearbox or anything. Like no. That. Should it? Okay. Good. All right. Well, thanks, Maddie. Does anyone have any uh, questions? Go ahead and unmute yourself. Maybe you have a question or type it in chat and we'll, we'll try to get that answer. Um, pretty, pretty thorough explanation for it. I've, I've never actually seen that work before. It's, a, it's uh, pretty simple. Yeah. You know, and typically, uh, where this is going to take the place of uh, with the in, within the industry standard would be where guys are pulling wire by hand, right? Because it's a small circuit, usually within, you know, 2,000 feet or so. So they can do it by hand, but it's also, you know, kind of laborious. It takes usually a couple of guys, uh, can be strenuous on your back, et cetera. So this kind of takes the place of that, makes it a one-man operation and makes it much easier nice. to, to facilitate. So looks like the setup is pretty quick. Too. Yeah. Like, you know, how, how long is the typical setup for an XD1 pull? You know, I took a little bit of extra time to kind of uh, explain the steps involved, but as you see, you know, probably take you about two minutes, three minutes tops. Nice. So. Okay. Perfect. Um, well, if there's uh, if there's no questions, Betty, appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.